Terry and Meghan Markle recently sat down with Jane Polly for CBS Sunday this morning, and let's just say things didn't quite go to plan. Rumor has it there was some major drama behind the scenes before, during, and after the interview. In today's video, we're going to break down some of the juicy insider information and discuss what exactly went wrong. You guys, we have a lot of juicy Royal Daily Tea to get through today, so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. <music> So Prince Harry and Meghan Markle sat down with Jane Polly for the very first joint interview since the salacious Oprah Winfrey interview back in 2021. But there were major tensions and drama even before the camera started rolling. Now I have to say the insider source has not been 100% verified, so please take that with a grain of salt. And this is for entertainment purposes only. Now, when you're in Hollywood, you're dealing with my people, contact your people. Everything is done through agencies, managers, producers. Very rarely does the talent actually get involved in negotiations. Everything is my people will call your people. So for weeks, they were planning this interview back and forth, back and forth, all of the details. And according to an insider, the executive producers, you know, they need a ratings bonanza. They're, they're fighting against other TV shows for the ratings. And what would be the biggest rating bonanza? Would be having Harry and Meghan sit down for their very first joint interview in three years, but adding some footage of Harry and Meghan with their kids. Right. So they wanted to film a B-roll footage showing behind the scenes of their Montecito mansion, Harry and Meghan sitting there with little Archie and little Lilibet with their little iPad scrolling through the dangerous internet. The entire premise of this new program was about protecting your children online. Now, Archie and Lily are five and three. It's not exactly like they're going to be left alone to this dangerous internet. But again, the executive producers, they're trying to make the show exciting. They're trying to draw it together and make it interesting. And what would be more interesting than watching Harry and Meghan behind the scenes with their two kids? So according to the insider, it was agreed upon that they would film some B footage of the children However, at the last minute, it got scrapped. And this did not make the executives very happy because, again, they want a ratings bonanza. So instead of filming Harry and Meghan behind the scenes at their Montecito mansion, they settled for that very weird and fake, awkward entrance where Harry and Meghan showed up at some weird Montecito mansion in the middle of nowhere, greeting the parents, acting like it was such a surprise it wasn't. It was very, you know, carefully crafted, orchestrated to where Harry and Meghan, when they hugged, the camera was directly in their face. Again, everything in Hollywood is very carefully crafted. There is no surprises, okay? Especially with Harry and Meghan. But according to an insider, there were a couple of surprises and we all know how much Megan loves surprises, that did not go over very well. Now, one of the very first things was apparently Megan was under the assumption that the host of the show was going to be Gail King. Gail King works for CBS, but she doesn't work for CBS this morning. That's Jane Polly. She was not a happy camper. Now, every single question is approved by Harry and Megan's team weeks in advance. They tell them basically what they're going to do but at the end of the day, it's still owned by CBS This Morning. They have full creative control. So during the interview, all of the questions were called softball questions. Okay, those are the kind of questions I throw it to you, you hit it back. I throw it to you, you hit it back. It's very easy. There's no salaciousness. It's, it's all very pre-planned. But <laughs> during the interview, Jane Polly kind of threw out a little extra comment, a little extra question that was not part of the pre-approved questions. 
And this not only pissed off Meghan, but it really pissed off Prince Harry. So during the interview, again, you know, you have to make the story make sense. Why are Harry and Meghan even involved in this charity? They don't have teenagers. They didn't lose a child to cyberbullying. Their children are five and three. So why did Harry and Meghan immerse themselves into cyberbullying? So obviously, Jane Polly have to find something to connect the two. So Meghan and Harry were under the assumption they would talk about Meghan in her cyberbullying that she received, kind of how she talked about in the South by Southwest in Austin, but Jane went a little bit further, a little deeper than they were anticipating. She brought up the whole, quote, unaliving that Meghan was going to do during the Oprah Winfrey interview, and that is what made Harry livid. Because Harry was very serious about the charity, he understands that a lot of people are starting to criticize them for whining. He wanted it to look a certain way, and immediately the focus went to Meghan. It became the Meghan Markle show, just like everything else that they do. So then Meghan starts acting like, oh, you're right, Jane, remember H? And she starts putting her hand on his knee, trying to play up the love story. Well, he wasn't having it. That's why his reaction was so vapid and empty and unresponsive. He was pissed. He did not want the whole narrative of the interview to go back to that night of the Oprah Winfrey interview where they talked about her unaliving herself. He was pissed. They weren't supposed to bring that up. They were just supposed to talk about they got, you know, bad treatment online, but not specifically that. But of course, Megan was also unaware of that, but of course she didn't care because the focus was on Megan and everything is always on Megan. Now, according to the insider, Megan was very, very particular about the lighting, about the staging, about where she sat, where the camera was, everything was focused on Megan. So Megan was not aware that they were going to film a segment with the parents. So again, she's not in control of everything that happens during the interview, just like questions. But then they brought out the parents, and so they were joined with Harry and Meghan on the stage, and Meghan was not happy. She didn't realize they were going to be a part of the same interview. She thought they were being filmed separately, so Meghan was pissed. And you can tell Meghan's reaction when that lady was talking about her son, who unfortunately had unalived himself. Meghan's face was the most uncompassionate face that I've ever seen. Now, if you look at a photo of Megan saying, but nobody asked about me, and she, that little pity party face, and she's fake crying out of her left eye, and then you look at the expression that she gives a woman who's talking about her son who unalived himself, zero compassion. She looks like she's pissed that this woman is sitting next to her. How dare you be on the stage with me? Because again, According to an insider, it was just supposed to be Harry and Meghan. And then they bring in these peasants to sit there next to her. So their reaction was so odd. Meghan thought they were the main attraction. They were the main event, the main story of this whole talk show. But it's a two-hour show. So they have a lot of segments. They were just one of several segments. But Megan thought they were top billing. They were going to be the main attraction. But without that B-roll footage that the executive producers wanted, it wasn't exciting. It was a complete nothing burger. So they were like, they cut a lot of the clips and we got a very small segment that was didn't really say anything. I mean, their program they've done for two years, if you go to the website, it's a nothing burger. It's a couple of links, a couple of PDFs, like there's nothing. So what were they supposed to do with that? There was nothing interesting. And so, of course, they try to go down the, the rabbit hole of, oh, Megan, the poor victim. She tried to hurt herself. Oh, wow, what happened to her? So again, it focused mostly on Megan's victimhood and then a little bit on the parents. And I don't think they covered a lot of what they were actually trying to achieve. So again, the producers didn't get what they wanted. So they kind of changed the narrative of the whole interview. 
and Harry was not happy because it was the Megan show. And Megan, according to the insider, was really pissed off because Harry was not playing the doting husband. So if you look at the clip where she puts her hand, she's like, H, and she's trying to act like they're the greatest love story. He did not give her what she wanted because he did not want to go there. He did not want to talk about that event because it was taking the focus off the program. And you can tell Megan was pissed because he wasn't pretending the way he normally pretends. So according to the insider, there was just a lot of drama. Megan was not a happy camper. The body language was off. Even her interaction with the parents was very minimal. She basically didn't talk to anybody and it was not a very positive experience. And then after the show, Megan blew up at the producers. She blew up at the producers, screaming at them. And according to an insider, I don't know if they'll ever do a show with them again. It was not a good experience. So that's the T. Again, not verified. But yeah, like I said, Harry and Megan, that was the first joint one they did. It was talking about their program, which was, again, there wasn't really a lot of substance. I'm still a little confused as to why they're there. So that's the tea, is that it was not a great experience and that Megan threw a hissy fit, yelling at producers. They weren't happy. But at the end of the day, CBS has the final say. So what do you guys think? Do you think this actually happened? I don't know. Leave me your comments, guys, down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.